Hello YouTube. It's time to dig into the Curios box again and see what we can uh, review. Now I see on the very top I've got a couple of these uh, pocket essentials here. So I guess we can use one of those for this review. And I'll put the other one off to the side here. And what do we have here? Okay, we're going to take a look at today. It looks like it says Yuva Stallion <laughs> Pencil. It's a super black lead, full bonded lead set of pencils. So let's uh, let's check it out. closely examine this package here. This is actually the first time I've looked at this. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like into surprises as well and when I received that box of uh, pencils and paper and stuff from uh, the Curios, um, <clears throat> I've been sharing it with you as I've been discovering it myself. I've actually only been just digging one thing out at a time and there are still other items in that box I have not yet looked at. And with all the things that come across my desk, um, be plenty of time to get to it uh, another time here. But anyway, first off, first impression, this is a pretty cool looking box. I, I love the colors. You, know, you have your, your black here with all this nice uh, coloring here. And then this is, I guess, is a cutout shape of a face. And you can see the pencils are showing inside here and they look like they're all the same color we'll take a look at that in a second and uh, looks like this is already starting to come open we'll probably open it there let's see yep so that's where I'm going to open it stallion pencil and on the back and I, I imagine that says Yuva I'm going to assume that that's supposed to be an A because it looks like an upside down Y but anyway it's a Navnet product, and like everything else that I receive from the Curios, uh, it's made in um, India, that area there, Mumbai. Let's see, so there's all that information there for you if you you want to look at it. And then it's Yuva, so it is an A, okay? YuvaWorld.com. They're full black wood pencils with eraser tip. Um, what is that little character there? I don't know. I guess it's a divider. Anyway, uh, no rainforest or natural reserves destroyed while manufacturing. Non-toxic for those of you who like to eat your pencils. And it complies to new European safety standard EN71 for children three years and above. So this is for children three years and above interesting okay and then there's some price or something on there all right well let's check it out oh these kind of pencils okay well I'm just gonna grab one but it's that black wood type you've seen me do videos on other black wood type pencils this one here is another one just like that. It's solid black color there for the wood. And it looks like the paint job is kind of a either a satin or a semi-gloss, I would say. But it's maybe not so much semi-gloss. Um, I would say more of a satin because it it's, doesn't have as much sheen coming off of it. And then you have this silver lettering, and it's called the Yuva Stallion Ultra Dark. And you can see it has a black ferrule, and it has a black eraser. So it's an all-black pencil. And we're going to see if the Ultra Dark also refers to the 
uh, tonal quality of the lead. Um, now, they come pre-sharpened, and I could go ahead and I could, you know, start writing with it as is, but I like to get a point on my pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this, and I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll use this cum here and sharpen it with that. And now that I got this really big point, it fell off. Okay, let's try again. All right, so that one there apparently must have been a broken, broken lead. Could have happened during transport. So we'll just let that go for now. I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a nice point. There we go. Okay. And there you go. Now that is a long point, people. Check that thing out. So now we'll go ahead and try it out with this Pocket Essentials, proudly handmade in India. See nothing written in the back. It's kind of a, what do you call that, a paper stock type cover, staple binding. There's three staples there. And they look like they're blank sheets of paper. Okay, so, you know, pretty, pretty standard stuff. So let's, uh, let's check out the writing quality here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see what I'm, I'm doing here. All right, that looks like it's close enough. So, this here is called the, the Yuva. Okay, and... I'm actually reading it from the package here. It's a the stallion <laughs> pencil. Then it says it's super black lead full bonded lead. Okay, well, that's what it says. Okay. So, my first impressions, well, it's a very light pencil. So the wood is definitely light, it's very light. Um, short of that lead breaking in the beginning, which could have been simply from shipping, uh, so I'm not going to uh, make any more comment about that because it doesn't seem to be causing me any problems now, so uh, that was just a fluke. But I, I could have edited it out, but I didn't want to because I like to do everything in real time. You see what I see, so I left that in. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. But it seems to be just fine. Uh, the point you saw on there is really nice in that you don't have the wood covering a big part of the lead on one side, which you often see when the core is not properly centered. So this is a properly centered core, which is a really uh, is really nice. Now, how does it write? Well, it writes smooth. 
It does appear to have a uh, dark tonal quality to it. This paper is good, good paper. I'm going to comment about this this uh, pocket essentials here. Paper's fine. Nice little nice little notebook. Uh, let's see, what else could I say about this thing? Um, well, what I'll do is I'll compare it to some other pencils, and we'll see how it uh, how it falls in line. Okay, I got me some printer paper here, so we'll go ahead and use that. And let's see, what can we compare that pencil to? Um, well, why don't we compare it to a Blackwing 725? All right, I'm going to sharpen this beautiful Blackwing here. Give it a nice little point. All right. There we go. Creating me kind of a mess over here. Okay, so first off, we have our Yuva Yuva Stallion. <laughs> okay, super black. And I hope you can see that. I'll go in a little bit closer here. All right. And then I'm going to go with this Blackwing 725 gorgeous pencil. Blackwings are my favorite, of course. And I'll just write here Blackwing. And it's the 725. Well, the black wing is apparently darker. So let me just do this real quick here. Okay, that's with my black wing. And let's we'll scan up here. And then we'll use the Yuva. Alright, so you can instantly see the difference. Clearly the Blackwing 725 is a darker pencil than the Yuva is. Now, as far as smoothness, the Yuva is a smooth pencil. And we already know the Blackwing is a smooth pencil too, so I won't even bother testing that. Okay, so we know that the Yuva is a nice has a nice tonal quality. It's a dark-ish HB type of pencil, though it is, of course, not an H um, or it's not a black wing um, dark pencil. As a matter of fact, that 725 is not even the darkest black wing uh, there is. I believe that 725 is much like the um, the pearl. Like here's the pearl, and I believe that they're yeah they're the same. So. If you want to go against the black wing, black wing, the, the one that doesn't have a number to it, it's just their original, you know, darkest pencil, well, then you're really going to have quite a difference there. Just for comparison's sake, there you go. You can see see a big difference even that is darker than these and these are darker than that so that just gives you it gives you a reference as to this Yuva pencil now what might I compare it to well you know another one of my favorite pencils happens to be the uh, Norica so let me 
Let me dig in here and uh, see if I can find me that Norica, Stadler Norica pencil. My collection is getting so large here that uh, it's going to get hard to find anything. I'll find it. And that must be, nope, that's not it. Looked like it. This has got to be it right here. Norica. There we go. Little stubby Norica. Now let's. This is uh, the 2014 version of the Stadler Norica pencil. And we'll compare it with that, but first, time to sharpen it a little bit more. There you go. You can compare those two. This is that Stadler Norica HB number no. two pencil. Uh, one of my favorite inexpensive pencil. It's like this cost me 16 cents a piece. Pretty cheap. All right, well, let's see how these two compare so I can give you kind of a reference. Again, this is the the Yuva. Stallion. <laughs> Pencil. Okay. And then this one is the Stadler. How do you spell it? There we go. S T E D T L E R. Stadler. Okay. It's the Stadler Norica. HB. All right. So there's these two. Now with the Yuva. And the Norica. I would say that they're comparable. Yeah. They seem to be the same tonal quality, smoothness. They're both smooth and Trying to tell which is which as far as if one is smoother than the other is kind of hard to do. Um, Well, I like the Stadler a little better, just a little, but it is my favorite pencil as far as just cheap HBs. Black Wings being, of course, my ultimate favorite. This Norica feels real nice and smooth, of course, and this Yuva feels nice and smooth, too. I, I don't know. I'm just going to give it a toss. Okay, so in comparing it with other pencils... Let's just say that it's comparable to the Norica, Stadler Norica. So it's a nice pencil, has good tonal quality. It is a smooth pencil. If you like an all black pencil, then of course the Yuva is a good choice. If you 
prefer the old standard looking black pencil with the not black wood then of course something else and now we want to take a look at this eraser here so let's see how this eraser stacks up and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, erase across these two lines here okay that's with the Yuva's eraser black eraser I'll go ahead and use this white uh, eraser that came with uh, the Norica here. Okay, so the erasers are fine. They're, they just do the, the usual erasing. Okay, so there's nothing more that I could say about it. They're both semi-hex type pencils. It's a semi-hex type of pencil. Very lightweight. Black wood, black ferrule, black eraser, silver writing. There you go. So, if you got any more questions about this or how much they cost and all that stuff, well, I would recommend that you go check out the folks at the Curios. That's where I got mine from. And uh, their link is down in the description below. Well, thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to give me a like. I really appreciate it. It encourages me to put them out at a faster rate. And please subscribe so you'll know when they come out. See ya.